What's up everyone at MSB, my name is Ace Starter Third, and today I'm going to bring you guys an awesome third generation underused battle I had against one of my good friends, Trax. Uh, he doesn't have a channel, unfortunately, so uh, there's nothing to check out in terms of that. Uh, this is the first third generation battle uh, that's underused I'm going to bring you guys, and if I had to sum up third gen underused in less than three words, I'd just say physical attackers, because this tier is chock full of physical attackers. And because of that, I have this team that I made, and I'll explain to you guys what it is. So anyway, you got the Soul Rock here. Soul Rock is basically one of the best Pokemon in third gen UU because due to all the physical attackers, uh, they go for a lot of like ground type moves and rock and normal and flying. And because of that, Soul Rock is one of the best things to check that. And with Reflect, uh, which is what mine has, it goes ahead and stops a ton of those Pokemon, especially Gligar, because that's one of the most threatening things in the whole tier. Uh, from sweeping. Uh, I have a bayonet which is not normally seen in third gen UU and the reason why I have it is because usually you see teams that don't have a resistance or an immunity to ghost typing so bayonet is on my team with enough speed to outspeed a lot of walls so that I can go ahead and shadow ball tons of things and get away with it pretty easily because a lot of teams don't have anything to do about ghost types. I have Quillfish for spikes, I have Hero as my choice bander who has quick attack also because this tier is also chock full of Pokemon that like to go for the endure Stalic Berry strategy so it's always nice to have priority. Uh, I have Vileplume as my lead seeder and my cleric with aromatherapy and Sand Slash as my sort of kind of, it's Compared to 6th gen, where you have Excadrill, it has Sword Stance, it also has Rapid Spin, that's my Rapid Spin, but it can also go ahead and sweep with Sword Stance. So I hope you guys enjoy this 3rd gen UU battle. Uh, stay tuned into the battle, thank you guys so much for watching, and let's go! I was just thinking about how freaky it would be if you were just walking down the street and you just saw Solrox just floating around with that weird face. But anyway, he's going to lead off with a Gliscor, Gligar, and I'm going to be leading off with my Solrox just because I wanted to go ahead and get my Reflect up as soon as possible. There's no Light Clay in this generation, unfortunately, but like I said, physical attackers are running rampant, so I need to do something about that. So I go ahead and do set up the Reflect successfully, and then I go into my Bayonet so I can take the Sleep Powder that the Vile Plume is going to be going for. And then, unfortunately, as I will always, he's going to go for a Sunny Day, and I'll this point, I'm kind of worried because Vileplume, even though it only has a 100 base special attack, Solar Beams and Hidden Power Fire that's boosted by Sun is quite a problem for my team, and it's not going to be easy to go ahead and take all that. So, unless I do a string of predictions, which I'm going to be trying to attempt to do, uh, this thing can easily wreck through my team, at least for the four turns that he has the Sun up, because otherwise, it's just going to be too speed. Anyway, so I'm going to be going out into Soul Rock now because Soul Rock can easily take a Hidden Power Fire. Uh, this is also a chance for me to see ice or not because that's also a thing that vile plumes like to do because of dragon types uh, fortunately enough, he does have hidden power fire and i'm going to be taking minimal damage from that uh, even though he was resisted so in the sun so it's pretty good for me but i'm going to be going out into vile plume once again because i don't want to be solar beamed uh yes that's going to be really bad for soul rock even though it is a sun it doesn't like solar beams but yeah so I'm going to be able to take that pretty nicely because Vileplume Quad resists that and now I'm going to be trying to predict him to think I'm going to be going for a switch back into my uh, Soul Rock again. So I'm going to be staying in this time and I'm going to be going for a Sludge Bomb. Now this was really risky for me. I was thinking that I could have lived a hit of Power Fire even if I stayed in, which is why I was more inclined to do that. Plus I didn't want my Soul Rock to die because I needed it for like Gligar. Uh, but I do go ahead and fire off a Sludge Bomb and fortunately enough the Senate is going to be going away. So that is really good for me because now I don't have to worry about this thing sweeping through my team now and I don't have to worry about his hit of Power Fires having extra stab due to the sun. So I'm going to be going out into Barbie once more because I figured that he was going to go for a hit, uh, Sleep Powder. But he doesn't even do that. He just goes ahead and goes for a hit of Power Fire trying to do a lot of damage to me. And now that they look at that, that probably would have taken out my Vile Plume because it did so much damage to Bayonet. But anyway, even though, yeah. You know, so I'm going to be going for a Shadow Ball, I do believe, as he's going to go out into his Absol, which kind of sucks because Absol is pretty much a big threat. But I know, fortunately enough, that Absol is really slow, besides the fact that it's a tiger or lion or wolf thing, uh, really slow. So I'm going to be having to go out into my Fero because Fero, even with an Adamant Nature, which is what mine has, I still outspeed. <laughs> Absolutely, which I think is pretty funny, but I'm going to be fortunately going for a Choice Bandit Stab uh, Return, which is going to be doing a ton of damage to a Absol, because Absols have unfortunately really low defenses, and because of that, I'm going to be going ahead and taking him out. Now, you see that that Quick Attack did a ton of damage, and that's because Fiero has like two defense, 
So that's why I did so much, in case you were wondering. But anyway, he's going to go out into his lantern and then predict my switch into Vileplume and go for an Ice Beam. Fortunately enough, it didn't do that much because I am supposed to defensive and or because his lantern doesn't have a lot of investment into his special attack. At this point, I wasn't sure whether or not he was going to go for it again, so I just go for Elite Seed because I know he could have just lived it. And I know that lantern having like 2 billion HP is going to be really beneficial for my team to have this thing Elite Seeded, right? Right, so. Fortunately enough, I do have at least seated. Now I'm going to go ahead and go out to my cool fish because I figure he's going to go for an ice cream again. But somehow he predicts that with exceptional <laughs> accuracy and goes for a thunderbolt and does a load of damage to me. But fortunately enough, I go ahead and live it. Now, I'm certain that he was EV'd so that he could go ahead and get a one hit KO on Quillfish, but unfortunately I think he got a low damage roll because I, I personally I don't think I should have lived that with stab and super effective damage. Was the fact that Lantern has 76 base special attack while Quillfish has like 50 special defense. I figured I should have lived that, but I guess he didn't have enough investment. Uh, so anyway, we'll go right back out into Flora because Flora can easily take any of the moves he's gonna go for, uh, regardless of the like he goes for an ice beam or not. Uh, so this is a good opportunity for me to switch out. I do do I switch? I don't think I do. Do I switch? I go for Hidden Power Grass. Okay, that's what I do. All right. So he predicts my Hidden Power Grass, and I goes on to his Hypno. This kind of sucks for me because now Hypno is one of those Pokemon that works somewhat like Slow Rocket, also sets up Reflect. And I know that if he does that, then my Vile Plume is literally useless against him. All I can really do is just go for Elite Seed because I can't put him to sleep with. Well, I don't have any sleep moves, but even if I did, I could have put him to sleep because he has Insomnia. If I hit him with a Sludge Bomb, it's not going to do that much because of Reflect. And if I go for a Grass-type move, it's going to be not doing that much at all because of Hypno's massively large special defensive stat. So I'm going to go on to uh, Bayonet, and I was going to fire off a Shadow Ball, which I go ahead and do. Um, I figure that I was faster because I have enough speed investment in order to outspeed Hypno. And I do do a ton of damage, but I don't even take him out, which really sucks because I figured that with a stab and 115 attack, and the fact that it's a Hypno and super effective, I would have just taken it out, but I didn't, unfortunately. So I'm gonna go ahead and go for a knockoff, either predicting him to switch out or predicting him to go back in the Lantern because a lot of the time, a lot of Hypnos have Seismic Toss instead of Psychic, and I'm figuring that he might have that, so that's why I went ahead and went for a knockoff, just because those leftovers on either of these Pokemon would have been not beneficial if they had them, whether or not, you know, compared to if they did. So, I'm gonna be predicting to switch right back out into the hit now, so I'm going to be doing that successfully, and then Bayonet is going to be able to fire off another Shadow Ball as it goes ahead and goes on to his Camera Up. I will, uh, yeah, Camera Up, Krakatawa. That's very, very creative for a camel with volcanoes on its back. But unfortunately for everyone, I'm going to be getting a crit. It sucks. I, I know. I'm sorry. I, it, uh, you didn't get to see what the Camera Up does. Uh, he told me he had explosion and eruption. It would have been a mess. So uh, that's. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and go for a Shadow Ball as I do believe the Reflect wears off. It's gonna be doing a ton of damage to Lantern because even though Lantern has a massive amount of HP, it has abysmal defenses. So I'm gonna be firing it off another Shadow Ball as it goes for a Toxic. Kinda sucks for me, but it doesn't really matter now because it looks like the majority of his team is now gone. And because I've seen everything already, I already know that my Soul Rock can go ahead and handle everything that's here already. So unless my Soul Rock miraculously just implodes, uh, I should be able to be good. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and go out, I'm sorry, I'm going to go ahead and go for a knockoff. The reason why I did that was because at first when he went for a reflect and it was for a shadow ball, I thought he was faster than me. So that's why I figured that if I went for a shadow ball, it wasn't really going to be doing anything. But I mean, <laughs> so he's going to go into his Gligar and I'm going to get another crit. Yes, I know, I know, I know, I know. Don't. Don't even comment about, oh, you should have it. No, I, I know. <laughs> Sorry, everyone. But anyway, he's going to go for an earthquake. He's going to be so, so, so close. And it could take me out, could not, but he goes ahead and doesn't take me out. So fortunately, now Bayonet lives, I'm going to be able to go for another Shadow Ball and take out the Goliath door, which I shouldn't have done. I know. Hack is part of the game. <laughs> so, anyway, now he has his last Pokemon, which is his Hypno. I'm like, okay, this is a great opportunity for me to go out into. Actually, no, this is the second to last. Yeah, this is the second to last. Is it the last? It might be the. Is, ooh, see, this is why I paired you. See, because, yeah. Anyway, so he's gonna go ahead and go for a Psycho Toss. I do believe I'm going to Firo because I figured the Reflect was still up and I didn't want the Reflect up, so I was gonna stall at the turns a little bit and do as much damage as I could as possible before he just took me out. So he goes ahead and does take out my Firo, which kinda sucks, but oh well, I mean. 
4-0, right? Anyway, so I'm going to Kristoff the Sand Slash, which I'm going to be going ahead and going for a Hidden Power... <coughs> Excuse me. Oh god, I'm just feeling all over the place. Uh, that's not even Hidden Power Fire at all. That's actually me shaking the earth with Stab. But I'm going to be going ahead and taking out the Hypno. I guess he did have one thing left, which was his Vile Plume. And I'm going to go ahead and go for the Rabbit Spin KO. I don't get it. And he goes for a Sleep Powder. And then he misses. So, um... <laughs> Kind of anticlimactic, I, I know, <laughs> unfortunately, right? But anyway, so he's gonna go ahead and get KO due to the burn, and that is the end of the battle. So I know that was a little hacksy uh, towards the beginning, towards the end. Uh, sorry about that if you hate hacks. Uh, but if you don't hate hacks, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that. Be sure to like if you liked it, dislike if you dislike it, comment if you're cool, subscribe to Monster Super Battles if you haven't, and um, and I t oh, forgot my whole quote thing. I'm just I'm just messing up all over the place. But I did hope you guys enjoy this amazing Thirteen battle. Uh, you use one of those really fun tiers. Uh, like I said, it's tended to run a lot of physical attackers. I'll be sure to bring you guys another third generation battle, probably a new tier uh, that you guys haven't seen yet, so you guys can get an overall perspective of third gen because I know a lot of you have not seen it before, and a lot of you think it's pretty cool. Uh, if you like third gen and third gen accessories, you can go ahead and check out my channel, which is full of third generation. That is what my base is. So I hope you guys can go ahead and do that if you enjoy that. And be sure to subscribe to Mouse Super Battles and follow us on Twitter for tons of updates and cool information and retweets and just a whole bunch of fun, good times and rainbows. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. My name is Ace the Third. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I said it a thousand times. I will see you guys later. Have a wonderful day and goodbye.